So to summarize the Tornado features, it's an object-oriented design which promotes scalability. The idea of clustered objects and the pr protected procedure call is mainly with a view to preserving locality while ensuring concurrency. And we also saw how reference counting is used in the implementation of the objects so that you don't have to have hierarchical locking of objects. And the locus of locks held by an object is confined to itself and it doesn't span across objects or its replicas. That's very important because that's what promotes concurrency and that also means that careful management is needed of the reference count mechanism to provide existence guarantee and garbage collection of objects based on reference counts. And multiple implementation are possible for the same operating system object. Now, for instance, you may have a low overhead version when scalability is not important. And then you might decide that, no, this particular operating system object, I'm experiencing a lot of contention for this. I want to go for a more scalable implementation of this particular operating system object. So this is where incremental optimization and dynamic adaptation of the implementation of objects comes into play. And the other important principle that is used in Tornado is optimizing the common case. I mentioned that when we talked about page fault handling, that is something that happens quite often. On the other hand, destroying a portion of the address space because the, op the application does not need it anymore, that is called region destruction, that happens fairly infrequently. So if it takes more time, that's okay. So that's where the principle of optimizing the common case comes in and no hierarchical locking through the reference counting mechanism and limiting the sharing of operating system data structures by replicating critical data structures and managing the replicas under the covers is a key pro property in uh, Tornado to promote scalability and concurrency.